and welcome to an EWTN News Nightly Labor Day special. I'm Tracy Sable. We begin with the 2024 presidential election where labor unions represent one of the biggest voting blocs. They continue to have an impact on presidential politics, even if their overall numbers have dropped. And with a tight race between former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris, they could sway the vote. White House correspondent Owen Jensen introduces us to two people who know the issue very well. Labor is now key to the who will decide the next presidential election. Labor unions and the membership will be, will be the deciding factor. Jack Yost from the Catholic University of America teaches about business. He says labor unions have historically supported Democrats, but... About half of the membership of unions these days will, is now, will probably break towards the Republican. This is, this is extraordinary. President Joe Biden credits unions with getting him elected, first to the Senate, then all the way to the Oval Office here in the West Wing. Well, I would encourage President Biden to continue reaching out across political party lines to bring Congress together and not only support a political party agenda, but to open up their eyes to the real needs of the people. Angelica Senamaro serves as the director of the American Labor Museum. She says Pope Leo XIII was a key figure who sought to protect the working class. And we can't go back to the time when workers in our country did not have their rights. There is a dynamic relationship between management and labor. And there is a mutual accountability that works for everybody's advantage, which is to create jobs, create job security, create greater wages. The question now, how will that translate in the votes this November? If we pick a state, say Pennsylvania, um, households that have a, have a, a, mem a labor union member are about 15%. And if half of that uh, goes towards the Republican, that will decide Pennsylvania, which will decide the election. One union comprised of hospitality workers is sticking with Harris, the Democratic nominee. This despite Donald Trump's promise to eliminate taxes on tips. Harris later made the same pledge. Reporting from the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.